guys, Veda Walker. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing video and I probably think there's gonna be three of them because there's like five boxes here and we have more coming and I'm basically, I bought all the curriculum and now I'm buying like the read alouds and the fun things and card games and other things and so, follow and school supplies. So follow along, subscribe, hit that button, do all the things and help me with the algorithm and thank you again. Okay, so we have a sixth grader, upcoming sixth grader, a fourth grader, and a, um, oh my word, <laughs> and a going to be second grader, a going to be kindergartner, and then we have our almost two-year-old. And so we basically use Timber Doodle Kids, we do family subjects and all that good stuff. Um, and so they are going to be doing... I think I work with um, my going to be fourth grader, a real stone mosaic. And so I got her this weld bond to kind of help with putting the things, the stones together. And then let's see, I tried to pre-cut some of these so that I wouldn't be spending the whole entire video unpacking boxes. Um, but anyway, we'll see. Okay, this one. Okay, so Abigail's going to be doing a lot of the U.S. history this upcoming year in sixth grade. And so Tim Rigido has a great reading challenge kind of recommendation book list. And so this was one of them for the, I think like the South area. I don't, I don't remember the category, but there's this is for sixth grade. And then, let me move this over. I just... I love this time of year because this is this is the fun part where it's like all these things are starting to come together. You see what they're going to be learning and you see what we're going to be doing as a family, all the good stuff. Okay, so I wanted to replenish some of our art supplies and kind of really utilize our, our pegboard. And so I got some dual brush pens for kind of the big kids to use. I think the little ones still kind of jab everything. So that's for our art supplies. And then I got some pom-poms because they made these cars and other things and they used most of our pom-poms for that. Um, I got this DIY art kit, some embroidery for, I believe, my upcoming fourth grader. And this is actually, she already has one. So this one's for me to do with her um, while we listen to an audible or we listen to a story of the world kind of together. And this, I have no idea what this is. This, oh, yes. So this is a craft paper hole puncher. Um, we don't have a single one after all these years of just homeschooling and college. And for me, as just a person, I don't have one. So there's that. Okay, let's do our next box. Um, today we are actually going to go visit my dad's gravesite for the first time as a family. My father just recently passed away. And um, this is... My mom's living with us, so this is why I'm recording in my room. And uh, so this, that's what we have going on today. Okay, so this box here, um, through, I believe, oh my goodness, what was it that she's doing? She's doing some kind of writing book, and I can, I totally spaced out. But they recommended the, um, the American Heritage Children's Thesaurus, and so this is for Abigail, sixth grader. We already have the dictionary and some other ones, but they rec like a, like a, a illustrated thesaurus, um, and so they recommended that one as well. Here we have the friendship, and these are just some read alouds for the sixth grader to do. Um, to Naomi's, I know that somebody on here, I love her. I think it's Brittany. Oh my word, I don't know her last name. Um, if I remember, I'll link it down below. Um, she recommended, I believe, these two books for her. For her kiddo, I think her kiddo's reading it or she's reading it out loud. And so I was like, oh, these look really good. So I went and got those. My third grader, upcoming fourth grader, loves these books. And I know I know they're picture books. She, used, she does read chapter books. But my kiddos love reading these books. And they're just packed with so much information. They love them. So we got I Am George Washington. I Am Abraham Lincoln. I Am Jim Henson. I Am Sonia Sotomayor. And then we have another read aloud for Abigail, um, Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. This is going to be a good one. Mildred D. Taylor. I know that she's like an amazing author. All right. Our next box. I'm almost done. Almost done. <laughs> okay. So here we have Famous Landmarks of the World. And so I know that for my upcoming second grader, 
they had like in their curriculum um, a couple years ago when I was doing it for Adlin, it was painting around the world. And so I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, so I just bought this so he could color or he could water paint it or whatever he wants. I didn't want to have to buy the big, huge like box kit that came with the Timberdoodle kit. So I just got this. Um, here I got a IQ, just another smart game um, to help with like our logic and problem solving. And this one is a heart. Like how cute will this be for Valentine's Day, right? Um, we are going on a very big trip this <laughs> this summer to um, Seattle and, you know, possibly through Arizona, California, and then Oregon, and then Colorado and Utah and some other states, right? And so I wanted to do some more of these games in the car. Um, and, it, you know, this is when they also get to have their Nintendo Switches. But anyway, with the mosaic tile kit oh here it is this is the kit okay yes this is the actual kit and it's real stones it was rated like i believe 3.5 on amazon and that's because people are saying they didn't have the right tools and so this is basically like the tweezers to use for that um in their kit he's supposed to have, do like a sticker mosaic and so um for upcoming second grade so I got this for Samuel to do. Um, this is another one of those smart games that would be fun for them to kind of do when I'm doing like morning time or read alouds. And then here um, in their kit, they had like a, I believe it was like DeJecco's, I don't even know, like night scratch art. But then I went ahead and got the Van Gogh um scratch art for our upcoming fourth grader and then she could frame it in her room or wherever like we can even have it in the playroom that'd be fun for her and she's also doing the pixel starry night um and I, we'll share her curriculum video soon and when i bought it from the company there was a bundle of a little pix bricks van gogh like a three-dimensional van gogh made out of prick I don't know if I'm saying right, picks bricks. And so what we got her that too. So we've been learning about Vincent Van Gogh this year and it's just, you know, that's just kind of been our, um, our focus. Okay, this is my last box. Um, this is another read aloud for Abigail and it comes with this series as well. And this is her US kind of reading challenge. So this is like US history. Um, and so she she's like, I don't really like history books, mom. But she's constantly picking up history books. It's so funny. So she likes it in novel form. And then this is um, The Copper Lady. This is another one of those history books that are just kind of... I know it's like she's obviously above this reading level. But I just want her to get that info out. And then... Oh, George versus George. Okay. So she is going to be learning about the Revolutionary War, obviously, when doing U.S. history. And so this is a fun book here. And so in her work plan, I basically have all of her works and then I have her do like 20 minutes of history reading, 20 minutes of classic literature, 20 minutes of geography. And that's basically a book from another country or a book um, from an Asian author or something like that, right? And so this is when she's doing her history reading I or any reading, I'm going to have her um, basically as she's reading journal and notebook about it. And so I think it'll be really fun to kind of like draw out some of these things and you know kind of take some time with it so in her science she is doing the um, human anatomy and physiology for this upcoming year and so i got this awesome resource book you guys and i know that these are kind of very popular for um, homeschooling families and this one i think was 37 bucks on amazon i was like oh that's just like a lot for like a just a resource book to sort of like just maybe use every other week or so but it is just so beautiful and I was like she is going to absolutely love the illustrations in this book and it's going to be a great accompaniment for what she's learning in um, her science and so I have some other books for human anatomy and the body coming soon and it should arrive in a couple days so that'll be in part two and i will share kind of what we're also doing when i'm opening the boxes but thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you later and enjoy and like and subscribe and do all the things talk to you later bye